Almost 15 years ago, I used to take this kind of bus from this bus stop every morning to go to my high school. And this year, the Volvo hybrid bus is being tested on the exactly same route. I'm going to school. Do you take this bus a lot? Yes, every morning and every afternoon. So have you noticed if there's something different about the one that we're riding today? When uh, someone gets off at the bus stop, it almost felt like the engine was off, but uh, it's the hybrid, I guess. Do you think it's important that buses become uh, more environmentally friendly? Yes, uh, well, since the climate change is happening, we need to prevent it as much as we can. So it's a really good thing. The engine, it uh, goes on electricity and uh, diesel, I think. So it's uh, very quiet uh, when it uh, starts running. When it's uh, more uh, environmental friendly, we don't get uh, all those, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, dangerous um, gases in the air. So I think that's pretty good. Fifteen years ago, an average European city bus needed five litres of diesel to travel a distance of 10 kilometres. And although the Volvo Hybrid doesn't look that much different on the outside, it is much more different on the inside. Because thanks to development of the diesel engine and of course the hybrid technology, this bus requires almost 40% less fuel to travel the same distance. It's fun to test. It's a bit different. Uh, you have to think about the electricity, if you, is, is it enough power? or uh, It's fun. Even though I haven't changed that much since the middle of the 90s, considerably much more has changed when it comes to how we look at fuel consumption, carbon emissions and what Volvo as a company can do about it.